This video will show you how to register a new patron in Sitka's Evergreen. If your library is a BC Public Library participating in BC OneCard, please see our video Registering a Patron for Libraries Participating in BC OneCard. Before registering a patron, best practice is to check to see whether or not the patron already has an account at your library. This can be done by searching for the patron by name. Go to Search, Search for Patrons. Enter the patron's information and click Search. Once you confirm that the patron does not have an existing account, you can register the patron. To register a new patron in Evergreen, go to Circulation, Register Patron. This will open the patron registration screen. Depending on your library settings, either suggested fields or all fields will display by default. You can select a different option and the screen will update to display the applicable fields. The information collected at registration and stored in the patron account will vary from library to library. It is important to know what your library's policies are for creating patron accounts. Fields that are required display in yellow. Fields such as barcode, first name and last name, are required by Evergreen. Fields such as date of birth, address, and daytime phone can be set as required by your local system administrator through the library settings editor. Fill in the required fields as well as any other fields that should be filled in as per your library's policies. By default, hold notices are sent by email. If you are not entering an email for the patron account, you must uncheck the box for hold notices email. This will stop the email field from being required, unless it's been set as a required field by your local system administrator. If the name, phone number, email, or addresses you enter matches that of another patron registered at your library, an alert will appear. The alert text is a link that will take you to a patron search of the matching patron or patrons, so you can check whether or not it's the same patron. For more information on the fields in the patron registration form, see our video, Patron Account Fields. Once you have entered all of the necessary information, click Save or Save and Clone. Save will save the record and open a blank registration form. Save and Clone will save the record and open a new record with some shared details already filled in. It is important to know for your library whether Evergreen is linking the accounts through the address or merely creating a copy of the address. Local system administrators can control this option through the library settings. Once the account is saved, Co-op Support recommends going back to the checkout screen and scanning the patron's barcode to ensure the barcode retrieves the account as expected. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.